Tips. I'm Rachel Collins from Juliet in Somerville, right over here in Union Square. I am our executive sous chef, and today I'd love to show you a few things that we often use in a lot of our everyday ingredients for our breakfast, sometimes our lunch, and also our dinner. So let's get started. Uh, looks like I've got some ripe avocados right here. Uh, they're really in season right now, and so when you're picking on an avocado, you really want to make sure that they're nice and uh, firm, but they do give a little bit. And this is exactly the color that you're looking for. Nice, bright yellow, a little bit green. Um, so I just cut around the outside of it here, and now I'm going to take this pit out of the middle. And I'm going to do the same with my second avocado. Uh, so traditionally, you know, avocados can be made um, into, well, just about anything. And most of the time you see them in guacamole. Uh, but we like to make different types of creams in our restaurant to, uh, like I said, put on different things. Um, and so in my avocado crema, I've got some really, really nice bright avocados. I'm going to throw just a little bit of citrus in. And I'm also going to be um, adding a little bit of clumage, which is a uh, type of cheese that we get right here from some of our local farmers. Um, that Juliet has a really great relationship with. Um, this clumage, that's spelled C-L-O-U-M-A-G-E, clumage, uh, is, is really tangy. Uh, it's a cross between yogurt and a cross between, I probably would say, sour cream. It's delicious. So I'm just going to kind of break this up, if you can see this here. Get this out of your way. Um, so as I'm doing this, I'll talk to you a little bit about Juliet. Uh, so Juliet opened up uh, just over two years ago, and we decided from day one that we were going to be a restaurant that really was working not only for our community, but also for its employees. And so we are the first restaurant here in Massachusetts that is tip free, which means all of our team, the, the servers, our dishwashers, and a lot of our cooks all... Um, start at a higher than minimum wage and uh, we, we help each other out. Uh, we're not working for tips and, and the best thing that you can do as a tip for us is to share who we are and what we're about at Juliet, um, our, our really good values that we have. Uh, we also have um, profit sharing with a lot of our team as well. So the better our team does, the, the better the restaurant does and I think the better the community does. Um, so I've got my avocados here nice and smashed up. I'm just going to roll my lemon a little bit to release some of its juices. And I'm going to squeeze some of this lemon in. Now you could do this with any type of citrus. A lot of times we'll use uh, lime, uh, but today because I had lemons available at the restaurant, I'm going to use some lemons. Uh, so just about half of a lemon here. A little bit of salt, but not too much because remember that clumage is nice and salty and tangy. A little bit of pepper. And last but not least, just a little bit of this clumage. I'm gonna add this in here. So I'm making a few secret ingredients here that Josh, one of our owners, is gonna come in and make into something else later on today. Uh, I'm not sure what he'll do, but uh, at least he'll have a few options that he can work with to make something delicious for everybody out there. This looks great, exactly what I'm looking for. Um, similar to a guacamole consistency, um, but it's nice and spreadable for, you know, whatever Josh decides to use. Great. Next, uh, I'm going to be moving into some tomatoes here. So we get uh, most of our tomatoes from uh, Metro Petal Power, which is a, a resource that we've been using since day one. Um, they source a lot of our um, produce from local farmers and uh, deliver it to us via bicycle. So they have deliveries a few times a day, I'm sorry, a few times a week. And um, everything's fresh, everything's local. Um, sometimes we even get really, really great uh, blueberries that we put into some of our jam. Uh, but right now the biggest thing that we are super, super into are these tomatoes. Um, you can see they're really nice and bright. They're, they smell delicious. They're, they're super, super juicy. 
Um, and so I'm going to slice them here. But tomatoes, uh, like I said, are something that we're really into right now. Um, we uh, use tomatoes in uh, a few of our preparations at Juliet. Um, one is called piperad. Can anybody guess what piperad has in it? Well, it's got a lot of peppers in it, a lot of tomatoes, and of course it has um, some onions in it as well. So we'll cut those tomatoes really thin um, and we'll, we'll let them cook all day long until they're really, really, really soft. Um, and then we, we make a Basque style condiment called piperad, um, and that goes on to a lot of our breakfast scrambles in the morning, some of our lunches, and it's on our prefix menu right now. But my most favorite preparation of of um, this tomato is called tomato jam. If any of you have not had a tomato jam, I encourage you to stop over at Juliet and try it. This jam is something that I have fallen in love with. It's fresh and bright with uh, preserved lemon and some dill. Um, and this is a jam that we often will, will serve with our, our cheese boards that we have at Juliet. Um, but also sometimes, don't tell anyone, I will sneak a spoonful of this tomato jam at the end of every shift as like my going away present for a long day's work. Don't tell though, it's delicious. And I encourage you to stop in and try it. Um, the next thing I've got here are some three, are three eggs. And um, a lot of you think that, you know, eggs are, are great in its whole um, state, which I do too uh, love. Uh, but today I'm gonna make some homemade mayonnaise. Um, so one thing with homemade mayonnaise is that you really wanna make sure that you're separating your whites um, from your yolks. And we're gonna use the yolk because that's the fattier part of the egg um, to make mayonnaise. Um, one thing that we, we often do at Juliet is encourage our team to make everything um, in small batches at first and then move into a larger batch where, you know, I might use a mixer or a blender to make this mayonnaise. Um, but Josh and, and I really encourage our team to make things um, by, by hand right here in the bowl. And I'm starting with such a small amount of egg yolk that um, it would just go to waste if I try to use um, a machine to help me make this mayonnaise. Uh, and, and so really, mayonnaise is just a, a permanent immersion, emulsion, I'm sorry, of fat and um, uh, uh, of fats, really. So I'm going to take three yolks here, like I said. Great. Okay. We also get a lot of our eggs from some of our other farmers right here in Lincoln, Massachusetts, which is great. We know where the eggs are coming from. Everything is fresh. Um, so you can see here, I'm gonna start with my three yolks and I'm just gonna kind of whisk them, you know, a little bit to kind of get this moving here. Um, small batches uh, is what we like to do at Juliet. Really, really something that we're proud of. Um, again, making sure everything tastes fresh and bright and flavorful um, and, and, you know, making items that we can use on a lot of our um, dishes throughout the day, um, whether it be transforming this into, um, you know, a, a type of aioli that's seasoned with some type of herb um, or just keeping it in its whole state as a really good um, schmear to a sandwich. So I'm just dropping in a little bit of canola oil here. Uh, this, uh, you can use any type of oil really, olive oil, canola oil, avocado oil, uh, but we really like to use canola oil because it helps to keep the flavors pretty neutral and then we can build upon that to, um, you know, make it what we need. So a little bit more about Juliet is that we are a really small team of less than 20 employees, but nearly everyone on our team knows how to make and work in every single area of the restaurant. And so some nights or mornings, you might see some of us uh, going out to tables and greeting our guests and taking orders. Um, I also have never had formal coffee or barista training before in my life. And I've been in this industry for a while now. Um, but here at Juliet, they want us to try everything, get our, really get our fingers uh, wet 
um, and, and, and see what other things we like about our industry and how we can be more useful to each other. Um, you definitely uh, hear us say, uh, you know, everybody does everything in our restaurant um, and little by little we'll get everything done. So you can see here that the more oil I'm adding to my yolks, the thicker that it's getting. And I need just a little more oil here to kind of make this work. Um, you should follow us on Instagram, social media, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Uh, we, we really try and do good by our industry and do good by our employees. Uh, we love what we do. A lot of us are career changers. And, and we'd love for you to stop in and hear our stories and, and see what type of foods we're making or, or menus that we're putting together. Um, something to stay tuned for is um, uh, our, our next menu, which is going to be an ode to New England. And I'm not sure if many folks out there have um, eaten roses or like eating roses or anything like that, but the... Um, next menu it's called beach rose and we have uh, rose petals that have been harvested right here on cape cod that we make into jam uh, it's delicious i encourage you to stop in and and help us give an ode to new england uh, when when that menu is up and coming wow I'm really glad I didn't go to the gym today because my arm is getting a workout here. It takes a little bit of time to get a mayonnaise in its right consistency. But I am close. You can see it's starting to get really shiny and there's ribbons moving in it back and forth. Um, so a ribbon is when I can move my spoon or utensil back and forth and it kind of holds its shape just a little bit. Um, I'm close, but not quite there. I'm gonna add a little more oil. If any of you have any questions too about the items that I, I'm making today or how to make mayonnaise or, you know, I've got a mayonnaise gone wrong, you know, text us or look us up on social media. Give us a question. Uh, we're really great about responding and helping, helping you with any of your, you know, cooking mishaps or, or love to hear other ideas for ways that you've been um, really, really uh, moving through your, um, your kitchen dilemmas or successes. Um, something else that I, I really would love to, to um, share with you too is that, um, you know, because Juliet is such a small team, we, again, we really value who we are and, and what we do. Um, and we love to hear stories of some of our guests that uh, have been coming in. Um, just last year, we hosted a wedding reception at Juliet. It was quite small, uh, but very intimate. And we like to do items like that. We like to celebrate your successes and any of your small victories and stories that you have. We, you know, we like to share in your sorrow. We're a very close-knit team um, here for the community. Um, and, and we really want to, you know, embrace what we're doing, uh, embrace what you're doing, and, and again, share in those, those sentiments with you as well. Great. So you can see my mayonnaise is really starting to take a little more shape, um, but I'm going to add just a little more oil because I think that it can hold it. Seriously, arm workout right here, folks. Great, so this looks pretty, pretty good. Maybe just a little more oil in here. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of acid. It helps to stabilize some things. Um, also give it just a little more flavor and kind of really um, break down some of that fat that might coat your tongue when you are making a homemade mayonnaise because of all the egg yolk and all of the oil that is in there. 
Great. I'm going to give it a, a little taste here. It definitely could have a little more acid, so I'm going to go ahead and, and add a little more acid to it. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fresh cracked pepper. If you don't have a small pepper mill at home, I highly encourage you to grab one. Uh, it's delicious, it's fresh, and you really, really can taste the difference between uh, fresh cracked pepper and uh, pepper that's been pre-ground and just kind of hanging out at the grocery store for who knows how long. Great, I'm gonna give it one more taste test right here and see how that shapes up. You know, one thing that we really try and do at Juliet, um, again, is to make sure that all of our, that is good folks, really, really good. Um, we really try and make sure that all of our ingredients, um, not just one, but every ingredient that is on the plate um, is really, really flavorful. Everything should be seasoned um, according to how that specific item should really be made. Um, so what I'm talking about is, you know, making sure that my mayonnaise is really seasoned. The avocado cream that I just made is really, really seasoned. And, um, you know, when I have really seasoned ingredients going on one composed plate or a sandwich, um, those items are really going to make that single dish shine. Um, so again, folks, I really encourage you to, um, to stop over at Juliet. We'd love to see you. We'd love to share um, in any of your stories. We are open five days a week, Wednesday through Sunday. We serve breakfast, lunch, brunch, and dinner. And Sundays are our community night. Um, every, I'm sorry, every third Sunday is our community night where a portion of our restaurant's proceeds go towards uh, an organization that is really near and dear to us, near and dear to our community. Um, that night on Sundays, we make pasta. So it's that very family oriented. Um, we always have very simple pastas as well as some very complex pastas on the list, but all of our pastas are, are handmade uh, using actually very similar preparations to this mayonnaise with separating the yolks from the whites and adding a little bit of oil and some other flours. But, um, you know, a lot of these ingredients, they're, they're things that you would find at your own home. Um, they're things that you definitely should, you know, try and, and look up a new preparation for of a certain ingredient. Um, you know, how do I use egg yolks? And one thing that might pop up how to make homemade pasta or how to make homemade mayonnaise. Um, so really get out there, be adventurous, stop by um, Juliet and, and we, again, we'd love to see you. Say hi, let us know you saw us here. Um, let us know where you saw us or who you heard Juliet from or how you found out about us. We'd love to meet you and, and say hi. So thank you very much for watching this small segment of things that we often do at Juliet. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.